It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Ziegler, and welcome to uh, Creatively Speaking. I am uh, uh, honored to have my guest, Andre Vomar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got somebody's name right. And uh, let me pour you a little water before we start. Oh, the show. fantastic. I'll pour mine first because it's closer. What do you have in your class? Thank you. You're welcome, Andre. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. We're going to start the show with a little sound effects this time. Why? Wow, this one works well. Whoa. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, as we start our show, we always like to have the guest put a signature on here. My signature? Do you want to put your mother's signature on it? Or You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> your signature. <laughs> and could you write no, your no. name here so we can remember at the end? Can of you read it? Yes, I can. But I want your name. Andre Vuma. Very good. Okay. Now we take this out of here, and then we always have the ritual of taking the Polaroid or two. Oh, all right. Do I, I go to have a double? Excuse me? Am I going to have a double? Are you a double? <laughs> Are you a twin? <laughs> no, a print. Yes. A, a print. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, good, good, good. I take two. Do you want to smile? <laughs> uh -oh. And then I take one for me. Oh, that's all right. Uh-oh. That's... I, I think we're out of film. I brought it. <laughs> oh, we're not. Okay, we got two. Okay. We'll put these till the end of the show. And they'll be developed by now. Do you smoke pipe? Do you smoke pipe? It takes a few minutes. Do you smoke pipe? We could smoke a pipe if you would like. No, I, I stopped smoking. Well, we just passed the pipe with nothing in it. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Okay, Andre. How are you today? Better. Better. Thank Good. you. Better is butter. Better is because I do yoga. Ah. I did yoga today also. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. So in one word only, how would you describe yourself? One word. Content. Hmm? Content. Content. That's a good word. Now tell us where you grew up. I grew up in Switzerland, in a little village in Switzerland. In Switzerland? Very small village. Okay. And, and when did you start drawing and doing stuff like that? You mean, you say drawing? Like when you were a kid, did you start drawing? Do you mean drawing? Yeah, drawing. No, never. Never. Okay, so what did you do we, as a kid? You, you couldn't find a pencil in my house. We were four kids. No pencils. And my father was an artist. <laughs> Your father was an artist, but there was no pencils. 
if if I it stopped to be an artist when we when we when he got married. So So he, he retired when he got married and had children. He, he became a watchmaker. Oh, so then did you learn that skill? Yes. Can you still repair watches? Yes. Oh, I think I have a few for you. But I don't have every machine that oh, is required. Okay. All right. So, um, what is what is your favorite artist? Oh, me. <laughs> Besides you. <laughs> I don't have any. Oh, Basquiat, maybe. Okay. I just saw his movie, that's why, uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, name a couple of your influences over your life. Who are, like, maybe three of your most important influences in your life? My ex-wife. Ah. And why yeah. was she so important? I forgot to show to take something with me to show you what we did. We were we used to make puzzles, wooden puzzles. You showed me at the studio. Yes, that's right. So, and then is there anybody else that's been influential? Oh yes. Um, let me think. Well, people at the art center. What? Tell us a little bit about the art center. Where is that? Art center is located in West Nyack. On Greenbush Road, is very is very close of the of the Buttermilk uh, uh, Waterfall. Buttermilk Falls. Yeah. Yeah. And how long have you been there? Do uh, you have a job there or something? Yeah, I'm the facility manager. <laughs> the facility manager. <laughs> That's what they call. Is that like you clean the bathrooms? I said I'm the caretaker. That's oh, it. caretaker. <laughs> you don't clean the bathroom. Somebody yeah. else. Yeah. You do. I clean the bathroom. I I I I uh, I mow seven acre of land, land. With the hand mower. Yeah. Push. When I got there, I had a tractor mower. Yeah. And then I, I got Lyme disease. Got Lyme what? Lyme disease. Oh, Lyme disease. Oh. Twice there. Oh, man. And then, when the symptom of Lyme disease disappeared, I had fatigues in my legs. Yeah. Right? It's a so disease. then, I trade off the tractor for a push truck mower to make me walk. Right. right. Six months later. But it's still power. Yeah, it's power. Yeah, but I, I walk behind it. Yeah. So just walking took care of the uh, uh, of, of the course. fatigues. Of course. Of course. So that was great. So. Tell us about where you live on the you live on the property, correct? Yes. Tell uh, us a little about that. I have a little cottage there. It's a very nice <laughs> cottage, I must admit. <laughs> and what is your favorite food? Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> oh. And um, a Swiss. You know what I mean? I know we have recallers here if you like one. Oh, good, yeah. Would you like a recall? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ricola. Ricola. I always put them in my water. That's what you did. And it melts, and it looks like I'm drinking booze. Yeah, it's wine. Look at that, that color. Yeah, it'll become that color by the end of the show. Salute. Well, now it's the, it's the color of wine. Tony. Salute. So nice to see you back in my life. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Now, what is your earliest, me well, not your memory, but how did you get started on your creative path? Well, I started by making mobiles with leaves and twigs. Oh, so that led you to your collages and your wind chimes. Yes. You have wonderful wind chimes. Yes. Yes, yes. We're going to yes, show yes. that as part of the show. Very good. So we'll add that later. But for me, it was never like art. It was more like artisanal. Excuse me? You know, making those leaves mobiles. Mm -hmm. I never took it as art. Because I took it like more like artisanal. Because I, I used to live in North Carolina. You mm -hmm. know? That's where we started. Where in North Carolina? In, in Bat Cave. I don't know where that is. Is it near Raleigh-Durham? It's near Asheville. Oh, okay. Nice stuff. 
Very beautiful. Yeah. Rolling hills and yes, barns. Yes, yes, yes. And we had a real bat cave with, with, oh, with bat in it. And you lived in the bat cave? No, but uh, I took my kids one time and we spent a night in the bat cave. Of course. <laughs> they're not, they're not, they're not uh, bad creatures. They're good creatures. No, they, they didn't. We've evilized them, like wolves, for instance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's sad. Yeah, no, no, we are not from them. No, without bats, we would have mosquitoes. a lot more mosquitoes. You right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, tell us, you have children? Yes. And how I many children do you have? I have three children. Three children. And Where? their way they came out. Excuse me? <laughs> their way, we planned it. We planned to have three children yeah. in five years. And, and it worked out? Well, you, more than that, we planned to have one boy, one girl and one boy. And that's how it worked? But after two kids, my wife said, it's too much. <laughs> well, because, you know, one year she's pregnant, another year she's feeding the kids, and the other years she's pregnant again. Yeah. So the body never rests. No. But All she got pregnant anyway. Oh, <laughs> that's your fault. <laughs> that's it's not fault. her fault. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, so their name? Yeah, their yeah their names. That's a good thing. Tell us. My first son is Oraibi. 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 Is the name of the second mesa of the Hopi reservation. Whoa! Yeah. Did you spend time on the Hopi yeah. reservation? Yeah, that's how we, that's how where we, it got conceived. We on the Hopi there, reservation. We went there for our honeymoon. In Arizona or New Mexico? Arizona. Oh, I and know. We were that. driving. Yeah. We were driving a post office jeep. You yeah. Know oh yeah. I love blue? those. <laughs> I always wanted one of those. It's unbelievable. And our tent got stolen. We were camping out. Yeah. Then we spent our our night on the top of the jeep because it, it was square. Yeah. And we had a, a foam. Well, you were young. With yeah. blankets. Yeah. When you're young, you can do that. It was awesome. How old were you? 30. 30, oh. And she was 20. My goodness. <laughs> I am shocked. Yeah. And where is she now? I met her in Switzerland. Yeah, but where is she now? And that's how I got here in the state. Because after, after two months, she was in Switzerland. She came to Switzerland to listen to Krishna Murti. Oh. With yeah. her mother. Yeah. And after two weeks, our mother said, oh, let's go home. But she said, no, I stay here. It was instant love. No, I haven't met her yet at that time. <laughs> I met her after. Oh. So now you came back to the States with her. You went I came to the States. It right. was the first time. Yeah, it took time, of course. And you were 30, and you've been here ever since. Yes. You're a U.S. citizen? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So Donald Trump, oh, <laughs> the politicians to be don't have anything against you. But I'm a mini, I'm an immigrant. Yeah. So what? You know? Aren't we all? Yeah, I'm, I'm very uh, happy to be here. And, and I got this in Arizona from some Navajos. I see. And I have a very special stone that was given to me by some Hopis. It's a very small one. I don't have it with me. It's smaller than your pinky. Uh, now, oh, yeah? and it, it was. What do you mean now? It's, it's, it's a very smaller small smaller? stone, smaller than very small, and it was given to me by a Hopi Indian woman, and she said, "This is what we give our men when they go on adventure." Uh -huh. And I have to go back someday and see her. Marvelous woman. You are a traveler, huh? I like to travel. I can't travel. No? You know, I went to Israel, right? I went to Kibbutz. Yeah. And the first day on our trip, I was with a group going to the Kibbutz. I met friend with one guy who, I said, I asked him question. I wanted to stay one year in Israel and came back and travel. Mm -hmm. And he had the same plan. So I stayed friend with him just to be able to to travel because I would have never made it back home. <laughs> I have no sense of your orientation. I've noticed. 
<laughs> I, I, I have no uh, time. It's a go. great witch hike all in Turkey around the coast. We went to Istanbul. I, have, I, have, oh, I love to go to Istanbul. It used thing. to be Constantinople, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What makes you smile? From my heart. No, what makes you smile? My you heart. smile from here, yeah. but what makes you smile? Like if you see something, what makes you smile? Well, my heart. Yeah, okay, you see your heart? <laughs> I, you smile from inside, don't I, smile from yes, what I, you... I see it through your eyes. You see what I mean? So, uh, I have a little project that we're going to oh, try to work on. Let's see. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, I say yes, but it depends on the project. Excuse me? <laughs> I say yes, I'm ready, but it depends on the project. <laughs> I'm just going to walk over here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, here's a tie. Oh, my God. Now, glue. I've set this up like this was me. And the, oh wait, maybe this is you and this is me. Mm -hmm. And it goes like this. Let's see. I've already worked on it a little bit. Okay, this is a lollipop stick. <laughs> okay. And I have some paints. Yes, let's take this away. And we have some ties. Okay. One will be yours and one will be mine. Okay. And I'll undo it. <laughs> okay. This is one tie. Oh, you told me about your tie. And this is the other tie. You told me you wanted to give me one. You're going to get one <laughs> at the end. We have a bag of presents for you. I, I, I already know which one I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's up to you. Good. Because I have a, a dozen of them at home nice. that I've been working on. Oh, okay. you made those, right? Well, I didn't make the actual tie, but no, I no, painted on them. No, but you painted them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now we have some things here. And you were telling me about your work and how you see little things, correct? <coughs> now I've done some of the work already. Okay, now I'm going to give you. You can take whatever you want and do anything you want on this. It's like a game. Well, I mean the, the party on the. Things. We're working on the project, so we're going to work on it together. Okay, you can take any markers, anything uh, you want. A nickel works. And, and we're going to draw, like, I see this right here. There's a little Indian here, look. Oh, you have to add. What? You're adding. We're adding, yes, not <laughs> subtracting. <laughs> you don't. Okay, so erase. we'll just do one because we don't have that much time left on the show. But here I can see the eyes. There you go, make that one. Two eyes. That's right. Okay. We, we can add. To okay, it, right? just do one more. Okay, let's see. More like this. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll do this. Oh. Okay. I'm fast. Yeah, good draw. Okay. Now, I'll put this here. Okay, now we're going to work on the ties. Now, okay, I'm going to put a little water on here. And what color would you like to add to your tie? Purple? Yeah. Okay. Yellow. Yellow. You see that? Okay. And this is called interference gold. Ooh. Okay. 
now. Ooh. You're not afraid of getting paint on your hands, are you? No, I had that little clay. Okay. I guess so I can clay. Let's put this back. Just put it on the side somewhere. Now we're going to roll this up. Just like that. Now bring it out. There you go. All right. Keep the water here. Keep it here. Okay, good. Perfect. Now we're going to take this, open it up. Now we got this. Right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to put our hands on it and just go like this. Okay? And now we're going to take it like this. Okay, and now we're going to take your tie and put it on there and smush it out. Okay? Now we take the other one and do the same thing. And I'm going to roll this one up. That's guaranteed? That works? <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it on TV if it wasn't guaranteed. And now we're going to put a little more water on it. <laughs> and I'm going to give it to you. And you're going to unroll it. Tie it up. It's kind of like tie dye. And then put it here. There you go. Now we're going to roll it up again. Wow. Smoosh it around. <laughs> okay, now here's the ties. Good. And you can have whichever one you want. But we'll put them over here because we have other things to do. Okay. Um, we only have a few more minutes. Wow. Went pretty fast it's this fast. time. Very well, good. They get to uh, embrace. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good. There we go. <laughs> good. Now, you know our theme song is Yes, We Have No Bananas. Um, I have uh, too bad our studio audience wasn't here. I made banana crepes. Wow, you you are a cook. You told me that, right? Since you're, I thought you were French, so <laughs> let's whistle in with that. And I made two French uh, banana oh, crepes. Banana love, yogurt crepes. I love the French crepe. Uh, and you could take it home with you. And um, we have. Wow, look at this. Yeah. And then we have this gift for you. Ah, so we and exchange? You, yeah, well, then we're going to exchange paintings. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Wonderful. Because you're the, turn it around. Around. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter, in fact. It doesn't, it goes that both doesn't ways. either. And I've already got some shapes in there. So you can maybe work on this, and I'll work on this, and we'll share. Next time we see. Yeah, next time. All right. And, um, and you have everything in this bag is yours. In fact, oh, there's more. There's a planted for you, so you can cook. You know, that's my breakfast every day. That's right. One banana. Well, there you go. And it takes me until, until lunchtime. Okay. And, um, of course, we have the, the, the Polaroids. They should be ready. They are. I look, I look very young. You are young. <laughs> You're young at heart. <laughs> So, uh, okay, this would be that good. is for cleaning, that's a vegan pizza, so you can clean your phone with it. 
And my glasses. And yeah, and your glasses. Oh, that's and then here. It's a pin. It's a piece of sky. Oh yes. So now you always have a piece of sky with you. And your pencil. That's awesome. Um, and, and this? <laughs> Look, <laughs> that was a lollipop <laughs> that I had. You see that? Some <laughs> test. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Thank see, you. I have my pipe with me. I, I love this pipe. And since you make collages, yes, those, I mean, uh, mobiles, mobiles. Maybe you could take some of these to hang fried palantin chips. They're very good. Gone? Do you? Yeah, eat manja. I don't eat between meals. <laughs> yeah. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this one's me. Oh, and yeah. this one's you. That's to take home too. So you, I want you to finish this as a self-portrait. All right. No, no, this one's you. No, you you no, don't have a mustache. No, this is mine. Okay, that. Look like a woman. It does. <laughs> yeah, but this has the big eyebrows. Ah, well anyway, it's make not bad, you yeah. make this one you, and I'll make this one me. You look so sad. That was quick in the morning. You look so sad. It's depressed. You have to make it you. It's yours, and I have this one. I will change that. And we're gonna. It's gonna be part of that piece, okay? And then so we now we're gonna end the show. Already? It's already. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you, Andre, for time. being on the show. Yeah. And don't forget. Can I come back next week? <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Okay. Don't. For, this is Tony Ziegler signing off. Don't forget, you are creative. Stop me five. All right. Very so, good. Just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio.com.